Hello friends, uh, today is my 33rd presentation for the team of finance and accounts professionals and overall it is my 64th presentation considering all the YouTube presentations that I have made so far and today's topic is 36 causes that can adversely impact the financial reporting of current liabilities in the balance sheet. What I plan to include is uh, number one an overview of the four types of current liabilities in any, on our, in any organization and a tabulation of uh, three aspects that is inaccuracy related, ethics related and strategy related causes that can adversely impact the financial reporting in the balance sheet. Then I will take up individually four types of these current liabilities which is uh, 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 short term borrowings payable on demand, type 2 short term deposits taken, three short term vendors payable and fourth short term provisions uh, employees related. Now this is an overview uh, of the uh, uh, types of current liabilities and the 36 causes that I mentioned which can adversely impact the financial reporting. In the first row is the short term borrowings where there are uh, three inaccuracy related aspects, two ethics related aspects and three strategy related aspects totaling to eight aspects. Short term deposits taken, three inaccuracy related, two ethics related, uh, uh, three ethics related and two strategy related aspects totaling to eight. Short term vendors payable, 6 inaccuracy related aspects, 2 ethics related, 2 strategy related and totaling to 10 and short term provisions that employees related also 6 to 2 that is inaccuracy related, ethics related and strategy related totaling to total 36 <coughs> overall uh, causes that can impact the financial reporting. Now number 1, type 1, short term borrowings payable on demand, few examples of such short term borrowings are uh, bank overdrafts, short term loans from the banks or FIs due within one year, commercial papers issued by the company to raise short term funds, other short term borrowings from entities as advanced, retention money, deposits taken or money retained against due bills for securing the performance of the contracts or warranty, borrowings secure, uh, secured against collaterals or unsecured and payable within one year and accrued liabilities such as accrued interest or tax payable within one year. Inaccuracy causes short term borrowings payable on demand. Number one, inaccurate balances that is overstating or understating the outstanding balance on the line of credit or overdraft. Number two is missing disclosures, failing to disclose the interest rate or the credit associated with the borrowings. Number three is the omission of, omission of a few short term borrowings undiligently. Uh, next one is ethics and strategy related causes. Number one, ethics related uh, causes for the short term borrowings payable on demand. Intentional misrepresentation uh, inten that is intentionally hiding a line of credit to create a false impression of financial stability or intentionally manipulating financial disclosures related to short term. Number two, lack of transparency is not disclosing the true cost of borrowings in including fees to, the, to mislead the investors. <coughs> Next one is strategy related aspects causes non-compliance with the Companies Act failing to disclose the borrowings exceeding the credit limits sanctioned by the lenders or exceeding uh, board approved limits. Number two, missing disclosures in Schedule 6 not that is not disclosing uh, details of the short term borrowings as mandated by the Para 8.6 in the Schedule 6 of the Companies Act which could include interest rates, repayment terms and security pledges if any. And number two, other miscellaneous non-compliances re uh, required as uh, required uh, uh, as stated in the 4.2, 7.1, 7.3 and 8.2 as applicable in, in Schedule 6. Uh, next one, Type 2. <coughs> Short term deposits taken, few examples are customer deposits or customer prepayments, advance received towards product to be sold or services to be delivered in future, security deposits against rents refundable, earnest money deposit say from potential contractors towards bidding or from scrap dealers and refundable and any other short term deposits received from any entity and payable within one year. Here the inaccuracy uh, causes are three, one lack of transparency not properly categorizing different types of short term deposits taken omission of a few short term deposits undiligently and missing majority rates failing to disclose the majority rates of the deposits or the refundability status. Ethics related causes on the with respect to the short term deposits taken. Manipulation that is understating deposits taken to improve the current ratio artificially. Intentional omission from the financial statement to make the company appear more liquid than it is. And third improper handling of the deposits which have been taken thus compromising trust and reputation. <coughs> strategy related reputation uh, uh, reporting requirements 
are not following the statutory reporting requirements such as mentioned in the para 8.6 in the guidance note to the revised schedule 6 to the companies act um, issued by the uh, institute of chartered accountants of india and and on non compliance with respect to para 4.2 7.1 7.3 and 8.2 as applicable and non compliance with respect to the banking regulations such as that is breaching regulations set by the reserve bank of india regarding the type of duration type and duration of the deposits that a company can hold type 3 short term vendors payable for few examples are short term uh, this vendors payable against lc letter of credit vendors payable against bill of exchange or hundi uh, bill of uh, bill of entries or hundis are negotiable instruments that like, that signify the company's commitment to pay a specified amount to the vendor at a future date then import payables uh, under lc uh, interest and charges on lc or bill of entry uh, interest bill of exchange uh, interest of uh, or uh, uh, interest or uh, interest or charges associated with the letter of credit transactions or bill of exchange that are payable to the vendors and negoti negotiation charges and fees against lc or bill of exchange inaccuracy related causes uh, for short term vendors payable inaccurate aging miscalculating the aging of the under, uh, outstanding payables leading to a inaccurate picture of the payment terms double counting incidentally including the uh, same vendor payable twice due to pro uh, processing errors inadequate disclosure in the reporting not uh, providing a breakdown of the payments made for different uh, uh, types of vendors uh, payable that is normal hundi bills of exchange and lcs inadequate forex provisions failure to accurately assess the provisions for foreign exchange fluctuations associated with the lc transaction can result in the unexpected financial impacts and misalignment with the accounting standards omission not disclosing all the lc or hundis or bill of exchange etc and lack of transparency of terms and conditions related to the lc and hundi terms ethics related causes related to the short term vendor payables early recognition Recog uh, recording vendor payable before receiving the goods or service potentially inflating the current liabilities hidden liabilities not adequately disclosing contingent liabilities related to the lc or <coughs> bill of exchange transactions such as potential charges and penalties or claims statutory related non compliance with respect to the provisions of the msmv uh, act of 2006 which is uh, micro small and medium enterprise development act and violating section 16 which provides that where any buyer fails to make payments of the amount to the supplier within 45 days of the due date as required under the section 15 compound interest will need to be paid uh, and this one is notwithstanding any uh, any agreement bilateral agreement between the two type 4 short term provisions employees related few examples are bonus provisions leave and cash provision gratuity provision employees benefit provision welfare fund provision provision for the employee taxes employee uh, esop employee stock option provision accrued employee expenses provisions of any other employee liabilities in related causes short term provisions uh, related to the employees uh, number one underestimating underestimating provision related to the each type of liabilities as stated above misclosure of the accruals incorrectly estimating accrued employee compensation expenses leads to misstated liabilities inconsistent accounting policies changing the how accrued employee expenses are calculated year to year hindering compatibility <coughs> comparability and incorrect gratuity calculation lack of transparency in the ESO provisions and omission of few short term provisions short term deposits uh, 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 undiligently ethics related causes underestimating accruals under uh, underestimating gross employees expenses to boost reported profits in the short run uh, delayed uh, payments intentionally delaying the payments of accrued employees expenses to conserve cash flow in an unethical manner statutory non compliance with the provisions of the payment of wages act 1936 <coughs> And uh, uh, number two, misinterpretation of the Indian Accounting Standard 15, incorrectly applying the provisions of the uh, Standard AS 15 on employee benefits regarding the calculation and recognition of the short term employee benefits and obligations. Future references uh, Building on the Profitability and Ethics, my second book released in November 23. This blog focuses on the non current liability related aspects. And please stay tuned for the insight of my next forthcoming book, third book, which will deep dive into the uh, smart balance sheet strategies and ethical uh, practices that can unlock profitability. Uh, you can please also refer to some of the articles of your interest on my website. Address is given here and Facebook and LinkedIn. Thank you very much.